What's up guys, the snowman here back with another tennis instructional video. Today we're going to dive into everything regarding universal tennis rating or UTR. So we'll discuss uh, what exactly UTR is, how you measure it, the differences between UTR as compared to say NTRP or ITN. Uh, please check out my NTRP explained video as well if you're interested, but I will talk about who uses the UTR scale, just everything about UTR. So what is UTR? Universal Universal Tennis Rating. It's a global tennis player rating system that produces an objective, consistent, and accurate measurement of a player's skill in the sport of tennis. Basically, a way to measure how good you are at tennis regardless of variables like age, gender, nationality, etc. As it says in the name, this rating index is universal. UTR used by 200 plus countries. Almost 1 million tennis players have a UTR. That includes all the men on the ATP Tour, all the women in the W. UTA. Most college players and many junior players worldwide have UTRs. Even adult leagues use UTR, so very popular all around the world. UTR is a great way to track your progress because your rating is constantly changing as you improve. It's a cool way to enjoy your local tennis community and find other players who are of a similar skill level to you. That can be super helpful. It's been around since its inception in 2008. In terms of the scale itself, how we measure UTR and what that looks like, UTR is a rating between 1 and 16.5 that reflects your level of play, 1 being the minimum and 16.5 being the max number on this scale. When calculating your UTR, their formula takes three main factors into account. Your competition, so the strength of your opponent, what is their UTR like? Uh, number two, the score, specifically your percentage of games won. So did you win a match 6-love, six 6-love, six or was it maybe 7-6, seven, 6-7, six, six, seven, seven, six in the third? Uh, the final variable is your recent history. How have you performed during your last 30 matches within the last 12 months. UTR adds all those factors up. It has its algorithm and then it spits out a number for you. Uh, this is a look at the highest UTR ratings at the moment. As of October 2021, guys like Novak Djokovic, Rafael Nadal, Daniil Medvedev have performed extremely well over the past 12 months. So it's no surprise that they're the top three guys on this list. Remember, UTR is simply a rating. It has nothing to do with rankings. Uh, for example, Nadal is number two in terms of UTR. UTR, but technically Medvedev is the number two ranked men's player in the world according to the current ATP rankings. That's a different measurement system entirely. Also, don't get UTR confused with NTRP or ITN. They're all essentially uh, different ways to measure a tennis player's skill level, but NTRP is a program specifically with the USTA and utilized within the United States since the 1970s. NTRP has a different number system than UTR, which we'll, uh, we'll get to in a sec. And then ITN is the international tennis number, another way of representing a tennis player's general quality of play. It was developed by the International Tennis Federation back in 2001, so both of these uh, rating systems predate UTR. This is a really helpful chart to see the three different rating systems side by side by side. Uh, we mentioned that UTR uses a scale of 1 to 16.5. Well, NTRP uses 1 to 7 and ITN uses 10 to 1. They actually count down with their scale. By using this chart, you can probably determine a pretty decent estimate of where you You'd fall on each of the three measurement systems. Uh, starting from the top, brand new players and beginners are generally about a 1 with UTR and NTRP, and for ITN, a 10. Then you can see the numbers change as you grow more familiar with the fundamentals. As you develop better ball control, the numbers shift accordingly. Intermediate level players, uh, now you've got more dependable ground strokes and serving, nice footwork, net play, and use of spins. Advanced is way above my pay grade. Uh, these players have great first and second serves, excellent strokes strategy they can handle the pressure as well in high stress competition and then at the bottom the pro level is basically athletes on the ATP or WTA tours maybe some high level college players as well these are the true masters of the sport elite technique and a proven track record of playing at the top level uh, you can see on the left the best of the best with NTRP are between six and seven using the ITN scale they're considered a one and then for UTR, the best women are between 11.5 and 13.5, while the top men range from 12.5 uh, to 16.5. Again, UTR is an independent rating system from NTRP or ITN, but I like this chart because if you're more familiar with a certain system, uh, you can see how it translates then to the others. That's the difference between uh, UTR, NTRP, and ITN. All right, that'll wrap things up. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you learned something about UTR, found it informational. Uh, please subscribe to the Snowman Sports Media for 
for more tennis instructional videos, uh, more tennis preview content as well, and uh, hope to see you back soon. Cheers.